The Betting Control and Licensing Board is calling on all betting and gaming firms to move to the new gaming management system. In a stakeholder engagement forum earlier today, the board now says that the system is in line with the government's directive for all businesses to digitize to enhance revenue collection. Jasmine Mumboy has more. Gaming and betting entities can now apply for their licenses for the financial year 2024-2025. The Betting Control and Licensing Board is calling for compliance even as the rollout of the new gaming management system continues. In a stakeholder engagement, the Betting Control and Licensing Board has directed all betting firms to make haste with the transition towards the use of the new gaming management system. From a long time ago, we've been doing uh, applications and processes manually. And now time has come when we require to automate our processes. This automation, the board says, will streamline the collection of revenue by the Kenya Revenue Authority in line with the government's directive. The board is calling for compliance amid reports indicating that only 97 betting farms out of their 180 licensed farms have integrated their systems with KRA to allow the taxman a real-time view of the industry in a bid to seal revenue leakages. This makes even our work easier. It makes it more effective, cost-effective. And we started from uh, unloading all our services to the e-citizen. And basically, you remember the government directive on issues relating to one payment channel, that is our triple two. The betting regulatory body has also begun the renewal of licenses for the financial year 2024-2025. This at a time when the board is making necessary changes to streamline the operations of the betting industry. We have participated in the, comp in the development of the first gambling policy in Kenya and developed a venture deployment of gaming management system, GMS, we have as well up, up, uh, successfully uploaded all our services to e-citizen. We have streamlined the licensing process by initiating and institutionalizing an open-door policy at the Betting Control and Licensing Board offices. The board is moving forward to look for issues relating to having a central monitoring system where we can be able now to monitor activities in the industry online and also uh, with, uh, without wasting a lot of time. Jasmine Omboi, Citizen TV.